From the weirdest fish out of a nightmare to packs of savage zombie worms that terrorise the deep, here are 10 of the wildest animals that live in the depths of the ocean. Number 10. Barrel Eye Fish The Barrel Eye Fish is one of the weirdest animals living in the depths of our ocean. It looks like a submarine with a transparent cabin. You can actually see what looks to be the animal's brains through its clear skull. It doesn't look like anything that belongs swimming around on our planet. But this elusive creature is actually very advanced. It has a pair of tubular eyes embedded inside of its transparent head which it uses as hunting tools for illuminating the deep abyss in which it lurks. This fish was first described in 1939 by a pretty confused scientist. But since then, the scientific community has managed to piece together a lot about these weird fish. Biologists consider them one of the most peculiar fish that lives in the depths of the ocean. There are a few different species of the barrel eye, and all of them have the same weird tubular eyes and transparent head. They live about 2600 feet deep in the area around Australia and New Zealand. They primarily eat jellyfish and small crustaceans, and their transparent head is believed to be a unique evolutionary trait which has allowed the barrel eye fish to thrive in the darkness of the deep ocean where no light reaches. Number 9. Zombie Worms The barrel eye fish is definitely a freak, but the zombie worms are terrifying. Even the name sounds ominous. Zombie worms are properly known as Osidax. It's their scientific name, and it's Latin for bone devour. And that is exactly what zombie worms do. They don't have a craving for brains, they have a craving for bones. Specifically, they feed on whale bones. Whenever a whale dies and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, zombie worms come to feast on its skeleton. But the zombie worms are weird. They don't have mouths, and they don't have stomachs, so you might be wondering how exactly they do all their feasting. Zombie worms actually feed using a root system, kind of like a plant. The worms flock to the whale skeleton, then they basically drill into the bones with specialised roots that then digest the nutritious fats and oils trapped inside. And to be quite honest, it doesn't get much more zombie than that. But don't fret, you definitely don't have to worry about zombie worms eating your skeleton, since they live extremely deep in the ocean, about 13,000 feet below the surface. Where else are they going to collect whale bones? Number 8. Dumbo Octopus The Dumbo Octopus is very cool. It is the deepest dwelling octopus that scientists know of. This animal lives around the same region as the zombie worms, about 13,000 feet below the surface. But scientists believe they could actually live much deeper. According to Oceana, life at such extreme depths requires an extraordinary ability to not only live in cold water, but to thrive without any sunlight. This makes Dumbo octopuses naturally rare. Or maybe the deep sea is just too large and we can't find many of them. And if you were wondering, the answer is yes. Dumbo octopuses actually got their name from the Disney character. This is because they have very large fins at the top of their heads that look like ears, and they use these to move slowly through the ocean while they forage for food. Unlike normal octopuses, the Dumbo octopus does not have an ink sac. This is because there are very few predators in the deep sea that they need to escape from. The Dumbo octopus mostly has to worry about large diving animals that swim down from closer to the surface to try and scoop up some food. The largest one of these creatures ever recorded only weighed 13 pounds, but it was 5 feet and 10 inches tall. That's quite the height to weight ratio. Number 7. Cuvier's Beaked Whale in 2020, the Cuvier's Beaked Whale set the record for the longest dive ever done by a marine animal. The previous champion spent a full two hours underwater in 2014, but the Cuvier's Beaked Whale managed to hold its breath for a dive that lasted nearly four hours. These fascinating whales now hold the record for the deepest dive ever from a marine mammal, swimming almost 10,000 feet deep in one go, but now they also have the record for holding their breath for the longest. In order for the whale to complete such an amazing feat, you have to look a little at how it uses oxygen. These giant mammals are able to store huge amounts of oxygen inside their bodies while they dive underwater. They also have a very slow metabolism. That means that once their oxygen runs out, the whales are able to tolerate acid building up in their muscles from something called anaerobic respiration. It's a method of generating energy that does not rely on oxygen. What's really fascinating is that after the record-breaking dive, researchers found that the whale did not need to spend any extra time at the surface recovering. It could just take another breath and go back down without any issues. Number 6. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish Let's move on from giant whales to something small and terrifying. I'm talking about the Deep Sea Hatchet Fish. This is a strange and kind of ugly creature that lurks in the dark ocean depths. Not only is this fish haunting to look at, but if you look straight into one of its huge eyes, it appears to be in its own kind of misery. 
It has a gasping mouth and vacant eyes, with the most vapid expression you've ever seen on a fish. But it's actually doing a pretty fantastic job of surviving in one of the most inhospitable environments on the planet. According to Australian Geographic, there are about 40 known species of hatchet fish, and each one of them has ingenious strategies for avoiding the jaws of a predator. Hatchet fish have special light-emitting organs known as photophores that help to conceal their shadows. This is because it's easier for larger fish to find prey in the deep darkness of the ocean by seeing shadows. The little organs are located on the belly of the hatchet fish, and they work to cast a glow from the underside of the fish that matches perfectly to whatever colour and intensity of the light around them. In essence, their light organs make them invisible, allowing them to move from the deeper parts of the ocean so they can find food without becoming food themselves. Number 5. Giant Squid the giant squid is definitely the most infamous animal living in the depths of our oceans. There have not been many of them spotted by scientists, but in June of 2020, a fully intact giant squid finally washed ashore in South Africa. These carnivorous beasts of the deep have one of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. According to Live Science, this particular giant squid was found while a couple were on a morning beach walk. Talk about romantic! It's unclear how exactly the squid died, but it has since been collected by the curator of the Iziko Museum of South Africa and is sitting in a freezer waiting to be properly studied. The squid was over 13 feet long and is estimated to weigh at least 660 pounds. Believe it or not, that's on the small side for a giant squid. That actually makes this squid more of an infant. An adult female giant squid can grow to be at least 60 feet long. It's believed giant squids live between 2,000 and 3,000 feet below the surface and they often hang out in underwater canyons where there is plenty of food for them to eat. The giant squid has eight arms and two super long tentacles that they use for grabbing onto prey. Number four, the anglerfish. The anglerfish is one of the terrors of the deep. Really, these fish are the stuff of nightmares. Anglerfish have super sharp teeth that stick out of their faces, which they use to impale their prey. They also have massive mouths. The lower jaw of the anglerfish can move downwards at more than a right angle, which allows them to eat prey much larger than themselves. And while they obviously look quite menacing, the way in which these creatures reproduce is actually their most unique attribute. This doesn't occur with all anglerfish, but there are certain subspecies that reproduce when the male fuses its body to the female. They basically absorb into each other and become one animal. The male fish loses his eyes, his teeth, his fins and some of his internal organs and from that point on, he lives off of the female. After they fuse together, the only job the male has is to provide sperm for the new baby fish. Imagine if the only way to have a baby with your girlfriend was to turn into Siamese twins. It's freaky, but hey, this is deep sea nature at its finest. Number three, sperm whale. Sperm whales are the largest of all the toothed whales. These things are absolutely huge. They are one of the deepest diving mammals in the world, and they can stay underwater for at least two hours before needing to come up for air. Your typical sperm whale grows to be around 67 feet long and they can weigh at least 63 tons. What's really interesting about sperm whales is that the males and females differ dramatically in size. A male sperm whale is anywhere from 30% to 50% larger than its female counterpart. Also, the head of a whale can take up at least two thirds of its total length. That gives it the largest brain of any creature on the planet. Sperm whales use echolocation to find their food, and they dive anywhere from 2,600 feet to 10,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface while hunting for giant squid. Sperm whales and giant squid are basically arch enemies. Over the last three centuries, it's been estimated that the global population of sperm whales went from 1.1 million to less than 360,000. Perhaps less surprising is that one of the only countries that still hunts and kills these magnificent creatures is Japan. Number two, pelican eel. The pelican eel is one of the weirdest fish in the deep sea. Its name is also extremely misleading. The pelican eel is hardly a pelican or an eel. It does have a slender body, but it inflates its head just like a balloon. They live anywhere from around 2,000 to 10,000 feet below the surface and have very rarely been spotted by humans. And yes, it's extremely difficult to study the behavior of an animal when you've barely even seen it. It wasn't until 2018 that researchers made their first direct observations of a pelican eel hunting for prey on video. And they had to do this with a submarine. Basically, the pelican eel inflates its head to create a bulbous pouch that it uses to catch prey. It's absolutely strange. Scientists believe that it's an adaptation to living in harsh deep sea environment. By inflating its head, the pelican eel increases its chance of catching even the smallest prey. Number one, the Megamouth Shark. The final deep sea monster for today is the Megamouth Shark. And yes, it's just as intimidating as the name suggests. 
These massive and very rare sharks weigh up to almost 3,000 pounds. Still, they are the smallest of the filter feeding sharks, much smaller than the whale shark and the basking shark, which are closely related cousins. The Megamouth shark gets its name because of its monstrously huge mouth. It's pretty shocking when you see this filter feeder open its mouth like a portal to another dimension. The typical Megamouth shark will be around 16 feet in length and its mouth can open to be around 4 feet across. Just imagine that gaping mouth coming straight at you. It is terrifying. The Megamouth shark is one of the rarest sharks ever. It's also one of the deepest animals on this list. According to Oceana, the Megamouth shark lives as deep as 15,000 feet beneath the surface. That's actually deeper than the giant squid or the sperm whale. They probably only come near the surface in the evening, maybe to relax in the moonlight. Other than that, they live the entirety of their lives in total darkness. Megamouth sharks swim around with their giant mouths constantly open, swallowing up all kinds of plankton. These sharks pretty much eat for 24 hours a day, like a vacuum that never shuts off. Which of these deep sea monsters is going to terrorise your dreams tonight? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks as always for tuning in, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another fun video. If you could switch places with any animal for one day and get to experience what it's like to be that animal, which animal would you choose?